Welcome to Mindfulness Monthly. So here we are near the end of the year. And what a year it has been. Challenging for most, certainly eventful. It really brings home how for each of us, we need within us a capacity to be able to withstand changes, uncertainty, and of course, challenges that occur in life, big ones, small ones, daily ones, global ones. And that's where mindfulness can really come to the fore, helping us to cultivate these inner skills and capacities to not only handle daily life and also challenges when they occur, but meet them in such a way that we can restore ourselves back to the sense of wholeness that we all have. It's a sense of wholeness that actually is not dependent on the external. That is not to say, of course, that the external is not relevant. It truly is. We all need levels of security in our homes, for our well being, for our families, and for sure. Um, you know, we have to face the realities of how these things can be destabilized. But we are in such a better position to deal with these things that are part of life to different degrees at different stages in life. We're in a better position to meet them if we have some kind of ongoing internal practice. So it's not just that when something occurs, we try and then meet it or meditate our way through it. That rarely helps, although it can provide some temporary relief. What we really want to do is be having just something going on continually, almost in the background. Um, that gives us both the mind, the heart, the inner spirit, uh, however you want to um, understand that word, um, that is both ready to meet what might then occur. So with this in mind, today's practice, which I will call grounding and lifting, uh, will be offered to you as a meditation, um, a structured meditation, so you will be guided. But also there are elements in this guided meditation that perhaps if you feel comfortable with it, you could take into your daily life. You could find moments yourself without necessarily calling it meditation when you tap into a sense of grounding and a sense of lifting. Grounding through our body and our breath and with deliberate awareness helps the mind to settle and feel less insecure. It actually helps the physical well-being as well, giving the nervous system a chance to rebalance. Lifting, as the name suggests, uh, creates a lift in mood, or at the very least helps us breathe better, which is always helpful, and actually has a knock-on effect anyway on how we feel and think. There's also a sense of when we just even a little bit allow the body to open rather than shrink, which it is inclined to do when we are stressed, 
the opening introduces subliminally, which just means to perhaps the more deeper levels of our mind, the idea that, well, whatever's going on for me now, I can meet it, or some part of me can meet this. So let's do the meditation. You can receive this as you are right now, or you might want to take a seat in a particular way, on the chair, on the ground, wherever you might be. You are very welcome also to receive this practice lying down if you're tired or are just already lying down. If you are standing, the practice is also applicable. There may be a couple of instructions that you just adapt to how you are receiving it where you are. So this is a mindfulness practice, grounding and lifting. Your eyes might naturally close. If that's uncomfortable for you now to have the eyes closed, soften the eyelids and the skin around your eyes. And then let's take three deliberate breaths in and out. You can do this at your own pace You'll breathe in and whenever you then breathe out, you can count inwardly one. And then do that with a total of three counts. And whenever you complete that third deliberate breath out, relax the belly, the chest, and let yourself breathe freely. Have a moment just in case you need to settle yourself even more for both comfort and ease, any adjustments, any supports. And then inviting you to drop your awareness downward all the way down to your feet. And can you bring awareness to where your feet are in contact with a surface? So that might be the soles of your feet or the edges or your heels. And really let the awareness go to where that connection is made. Even if you're wearing shoes, where the feet feel a sense of be it the ground or a chair or anything else that might be there. If your feet are dangling off the ground, you can still have a sense of the ground being there, even between the space of the feet and the surface. Gravity naturally drawing down through our bodies and through our feet. Breathing in, as you breathe out, you can reinforce that connection even more as if you are breathing out all the way down and through your feet to the ground, into the earth itself. And then relax the breathing. 
and let your awareness now rise up towards your hips. And if you're seated, can you really sense your sitting bones drawing down onto what they are connected to? Cushion, seat, sofa, chair, but also a little bit beyond that. How like your feet, the sit bones also eventually engage downwards to the earth. Perhaps you might also feel that in the back of the thighs where they meet the hips, your tailbone, and lower back. If you are lying down, then maybe more of your lower back is in contact with the surface and you can feel that there. And if you are standing, you can also sense that grounding dropping from the pelvis all the way down your legs to your feet and to the earth. We can breathe in a little deeper. And as you exhale, imagine that rooting and grounding through the hips downward. And relax the breathing. Now bring attention to your hands. And possibly allow the palms to be face down if they're not already. And that might mean they rest with a little bit of weight onto your legs or your thighs, your knees, or perhaps your arms are on a desk or worktop or any surface that's there for you where your hands naturally can come to, gently just pressing down. There's nothing special we need to be doing in our meditation. We're not looking for any particular outcome or even posture. Really, we are tuning into what's there. Here, indeed, it can be helpful to just feel that weight a little bit down from the wrists and hands and sense how that feels for you now. And then we can breathe in. And as you breathe out, imagine the exhale moving down your arms and through your palms and grounding into whatever they are resting on. And then relax your breath. Let your attention come to the top of your shoulders. That might be enough to invite them to drop, ah, soften, unburden the shoulders of all the cares and things that they carry every day, at least for a little while. And then come back to your breath. Just have a few moments of feeling your breath in and out, just as it occurs in your whole body. Now, still having a sense of us being grounded through our body, bring attention to the center of your body. And from your base, can you encourage a lift, a rising? Be that from the sitting bones, tailbone or pelvic floor, or just the lower belly, a lift that continues through the ribs, through the chest, through the neck and out through the crown of your head. How does your body respond to that little encouragement? 
your breath in could support that or encourage that, especially if we're tired or feeling low in mood. Just introduce a little deeper inhale, rising. You can even hear yourself say that word if you like, rising. Again, nothing has to be force and to not make this feel rigid in any way. Even if for you today, this is just a tiny little lift in the chest and an opening, that is great. Can you maintain some sense of this lift and rising without having to do anything further for a few moments? Nowhere to go. There's nothing we're trying to achieve other than connecting in to this little opening and rising feeling. The mind, the thinking mind, does not have to fix anything here or address anything in particular. And then, for the last two minutes of this guided meditation, allow yourself to feel both the grounding and the lifting. Try not to think about it. You've already been doing it. Just let it continue. Though you can support this by deliberately feeling your feet on the ground or wherever they're settled. And or your hands and or your hips. So you can re-engage there with your awareness at any point. You can re-lift the spine hard or head if it feels like it drops. And you can also feel how your breath in and out supports all of this. But do not feel you have to breathe in any special or deeper way. Grounding. Lifting. rising and rooting. If anywhere tenses up, you can, of course, relax it. Imagine a little sigh moving through that area of tension. A few more moments here. And then do relax the whole body, maybe with a little sigh through the body. Let go of any need to be practicing anything at all. Just be as you are in this moment until you hear the sound of the bowl. from that meditation in any way that comes natural for you 
maybe a breath out, maybe regrounding the hands and feet or stretching out your legs, hands or neck. Notice how you feel. So if you do have a few moments further, you could possibly just sit with how you are and how you feel before you proceed on with whatever you need to do today. And just to bear in mind that sort of grounding and lifting, even if you tap into that for a few moments, to not underestimate how that might be able to support you. And certainly over time, the more we practice. And to also allow yourself to be just as you are in any given moment. When you have that opportunity to pause, maybe relax the body, but then just listening and allowing for whatever is there for you. That's a deep practice in itself. So thank you for engaging in this practice. I wish you well, always. And I hope we can meet again the other side of this year. Take good care.